Today on the channel, we take a little detour to unknown lands, and that is the McFarland DC line with Batman Earth One. Welcome everyone, Kyle here. Thank you for joining me back again on the channel, and today we're doing something different, a little bonus video here. Uh, and something, honestly, up front, I know absolutely nothing about. So I don't know what I'm doing here. Why are you guys watching this? I'm just kidding. Uh, but anyways, uh, Batman, more specifically DC, the McFarlane Toys line. As we all know, McFarlane took over the DC line in 2020. Uh, DC's had so many starts, stops, incarnations, stuff like that. And to be honest, I've always been a Marvel guy. Up front, I've always bought Marvel figures. I did collect the Super Friends as a small kid. I did get some Batman figures uh, you know, around the movie releases as a kid. But primarily, I've always been a Marvel guy. Uh, DC, I have always wanted to get into DC more. But the stop and start and the lines being different and stuff really hindered probably a lot of people. And maybe some of you guys tell me in the comments. Uh, if you're like me, that could never really get into DC because you never knew where to start and uh, where it stopped and where it began. We all know Batman, uh, Green Lantern, Superman, Wonder Woman. We all know those are some of the heaviest hitters of uh, superheroes. But for some reason, maybe it's my age and where I grew up and stuff. Marvel was always the way I went and it's just the way it goes. Nothing against DC, guys. Um, but it is what it is. So I have never really went down the path. But you guys know I love big figures. And I was on my toy hunts. Check out my video. Every Friday I release my toy hunting for the week where I was in stores. Do a quick video. I'm not one to linger in the aisles for too long. I try to do it quick in and out. Um, but I saw a Walmart employee putting this on the shelf. Or actually putting the shipper up on display. I had never seen these figures. Didn't know they were coming out. And then the price point on these. Just a little bit over $15. I thought was a great price. And then I saw that and I said, holy cow, I got to pick this up. And this is heavy. This is, for the price point, one of the heaviest figures I think I've ever seen. So I said, you know what? I don't know anything about this. I know the DC figures got the line, uh, but I'm going to buy this. I'm going to unbox it, and we're just going to see what all the fuss is about. And we'll talk about it. But um, a very interesting with McFarlane. I've been kind of watching this. Obviously, I'm in the toy aisle every single day, and I see these things coming and going. It basically, to me, being an outsider looking in, it seems like it's basically a Batman line. It seems like there's Batman characters in every single set. I know Batman is probably DC's most popular superhero, I have to believe, if not uh, a number two, close two to Superman. But it seems like that set has a Robin, a Nightwing... Uh, a Joker, or one of the thousand different Batmans in every single line. Uh, I would love a more faithful uh, representation. If you could give me the Super Friends, uh, you know, give me the Hawkman, the Green Lantern, the Flash, Superman, Batman, Robin, Wonder Woman, uh, you know, those kind of guys. Uh, give us those. Give us something different. Uh, but I don't know if that'll happen. I got to think there's money on the table. They'll probably do that one day. And that was the last time I bought DC figures. Back when Mattel was making Super Friends, they made Aquaman, Batman, Superman. Green Lantern, I bought all those. I was hoping that line would continue. It did not. And that's part of the stop start I've been uh, talking about. So very interesting. I'm very familiar with McFarlane Toys as I was all in on Spawn figures and all the Spawn offshoots and his crazy stuff he was releasing in the 90s. All the Chase variances and the limited edition ones. Uh, my dad and I, as we collected toys when I was a kid, we were all over searching for those. We wanted hamburger head spawn with a different head. Uh, so very familiar with McFarlane. He totally changed the game as far as action figures, if you ask me. Uh, he took the old, do you think of the old Marvel toy biz or even some of the old DC figures and compared to the McFarlane spawn figures, night and day. And uh, when he stepped up the game, I think it forced everybody else to step the game up. And McFarlane has done a great job ever since. Uh, and, like this one, catching somebody that doesn't collect these, I enough. I don't know anything about the character, don't know anything about it. Uh, it was cool enough for me to pick up. So, there you have it. That's kind of a long diatribe to start this thing off. But let's get down to the figure. Let's talk about it. Look at that. That is a heavy, heavy duty figure. So, when I first saw this, I said, oh, cool, they made a Doomsday figure. A lot of us, probably of my age especially, remember the death of Superman with Doomsday. That is who I thought this was. Apparently, it is not. Uh, I have heard somewhere that they call this guy Devastator, but on the package it says uh, Batman Earth 1. 
I have no idea what Earth One is. Uh, I hate it in Marvel. Uh, talk of Marvel, but they do different universes and timelines. I really don't like that kind of stuff. It's too confusing, and I'm uh, guessing DC does a lot of that with uh, Batman with different things. But look at that figure. That is a big, heavy figure. For just over $15, the value is amazing on this one. Even in the package. So you got the side there. DC Multiverse, it says. McFarlane Toys on the bottom. DC up there. Uh, 22 moving parts, uh, points of articulation. Uh, McFarlane Toys. There's a little clear window box on the top. All the legal fun on the bottom that we love. And then there's the back. Apparently that's a picture of him screaming to the night. Uh, very, very interesting. What's, what else to say on the back here? Each figure comes with a collectible trading card. Oh, there you go, a little addition there. Batman Earth 1 Dark Knight's Metal. I know absolutely nothing about this. So if you guys do and know in the comments and want to explain and help probably a lot of other viewers, feel free. Uh, comic for 2017, apparently this comic was. It also says on the bottom, collect them all. So it's got Wonder Woman from a movie, Wonder Woman looking like a, a young Hawk woman, uh, another Batman, the Joker, and then Azrael, who I remember back from my uh, DC days, uh, collecting him a little bit too. So, like I said, heavy figure, and you can see hopefully in there he's strapped in pretty tight. So I'm gonna have to definitely get the old box cutter out, carve this guy up. But let's see what all the fuss is about here. Let's see. Now, I don't know where I'm going to display this. I have no DC setup going on. He might just be a background uh, henchman type figure, maybe. There it is. Clear box. Nothing in there. See you later. Holy cow. Very, very cool. There it is. Look at that. I love the blue background. That just really makes him pop. Uh, all taped in. Traditionally, you know, we all know the Marvel figures, how they're uh, usually they pop right out of here. Not here. We're taped in to the background. Um, so I got some extra uh, tape to remove. So I need some I need some nice tape cutting music, you know, some, something to go along with some tape cutting. Uh, Pop him right out. Oh, very cool. He does come with a stand um, and a trading card, like uh, was mentioned. So look at that. Popped him out. See how easy it is to get. So there's really no saving this background. Like Marvel, I would say you can save these backs and use them as a diorama piece if you want. This one's not going to happen because you got to fish the card out. You got to fish the uh, the stand out. Let's take a look at the card here. And there it is. There it is in the back. Probably can't read it. Let's see if it says anything. Oh, so we talk about this a lot. We talk about this a lot on the channel about uh, having a file card or something along with these figures. Well, here you go. Dark Knight Metal Comics 2017. Height eight foot ten. That's a big guy. Nine hundred fifteen pounds. Real name Bruce Wayne. Crashing into our world from the Dark Multiverse's Earth-1 comes a nightmarish fusion of the only two beings capable of taking on the Man of Steel, Doomsday and Batman. Well, there you go. I thought it was Doomsday. It must be uh, mixed together. The Devastator is an all-powerful creature in which the unstoppable might of Doomsday is combined with the unmatched intelligence of Batman. So there you go. Why is uh, Devastator not on the package somewhere? I don't know. That seems like a miss to me. Why wouldn't you list and so we know who it is? And when I think Devastator, being an 80s kid, you guys know where I go. I go to Transformers and Devastator. That's who I think of. Uh, but that's me. Let's see if I get the stand out. There you go. See you later. Just a little black stand, like a, a NECA stand or whatever. You see these kind of stands a lot. It's got the DC logo. You can barely see it on there. But apparently he'll stay on there. Let's see. Holy cow. You've got to be kidding me here. Now, McFarland's always kind of been this way. You longtime McFarlane fans from back in the day, he's always packaged his figures great. There's always uh, twist ties, you name it. Nothing is getting loose on his figures for good and bad. It's bad for an unboxing video when I got to sit here and try to figure out a way to unleash this monster from its cell. Um, but, you know, once again, I could really use some unboxing video music. Jeez. But I do appreciate that because for people that collect these on the card, <clears throat> you don't want your figures moving around. You want them stuck in there, here to stay. There it is. Dump all this out. See you later. So, like I said, I love a heavy big figure, uh, and this one is big and heavy. Um, it's <clears throat> it's more toy feeling than statue feeling, which sometimes I feel. At least the old McFarlane Spawn toys sometimes felt very statuesque and uh, 
kind of like breakable, not really for kids. I think these are 12 and up. Um, maybe there's kids out there, but I like this figure. I don't know if it makes me want to get more DC figures. Like I said, if it's guys I know from my childhood that uh, look like somebody I know, maybe I'll uh, step on that and maybe I'll get some of them. <clears throat> but we said there's 22 points of articulation here. Uh, and more statuesque than the Marvel Legends figures, uh, I guess would be my... Uh, my comment these look more like a statue more of a high-end collectible look how cool that looks you know like i said it's a big big figure um 22 points of articulation that's a lot of articulation even down to the toes he's got the small hole on his feet don't have to ask about a ringside stand which i can tell you right now he would not fit on a ringside stand the hole's not big enough but he fits like a glove on this one but i don't feel you really need him on a uh, stand i think he's big enough to stand on his own like a lot of other big figures are uh, but he does fit on the stand just perfectly. But very tight, heavy joints. you got to really work to turn these, which is good. I don't like loose joints out of the package. None of us do. Um, wow, even the mouth, I think, moves, maybe? Yep, wow. I I'm impressed. I mean, like I said, I don't know a lot about Devastator. I don't know a lot about Earth-1. But I do know my figures, and I open up a lot of figures, and I come across a lot of figures. This is very solid. This is a very, very solid figure. If this is uh, indicative of the entire line, if all the figures are this solid, and this one doesn't seem breakable. Like I said, a lot of Spawn figures back in the day had breakable parts. This has spikes on it and stuff, but they're pliable. They're a harder plastic, but still soft enough to move, so they're not going to chip off on you. I could see this if it was a harder plastic. A lot of these breaking off. It's not going to. So McFarlane has really stepped up their game with these figures, and I'm very impressed. I mean, I am I'm really impressed. I do have a Marvel Legends figure right here, Warpath, from the current Deadpool wave. I mean, that's night and day, really. Uh, totally different lines and everything else, but Warpath is a good figure. There's a couple of gripes. His, his head scan's a little old for me, but uh, this is a $20 figure. This is a $1587 figure. Uh, this is a lot more for your money, if you ask me. Um, but I do know, you know, like ever toy lines, this set, I'm sure there's some that are not as fancy, not as big. Uh, some of the smaller figures, there was like a Green Lantern Batman in there. Uh, they probably took some of the budgeting and put a lot into this and less into some others. So it's not a truly fair comparison, but boy, you look at these two combined. Which one do you think is 20? Which one do you think is 15? I think most people would say, hey, this is the $15 one. Um, so very cool. I, I really recommend this figure. I, I would go out just like I did. If you don't know DC, you don't collect DC, I'd pick up this one at least. I think this is a cool enough one that could probably fit on a Marvel shelf pretty cool in the background somewhere. If anything, use your imagination and it's some guy from a different planet or, or something along them lines. That There's something you can do. Um, but it makes me, uh, you know, I've, I've always been looking at these figures, the DC McFarlane figures as I'm in the toy aisle. I look at everything. Uh, but this one really caught my eye. Uh, and we'll see. There might be other ones that collect, catch my eye uh, down the road, especially if they get to some of the more core traditional looks. Um that's what I'm looking for as a collector. I'm sure a lot of you guys are totally different. Uh, maybe some of you guys are hardcore DC guys, but here it is. I get asked a lot on the channel, why don't you get DC? So I kind of explained some of that right there, but I did pick up this one, and I do not regret this purchase at all. This hits all of my senses. I absolutely love it. Uh, give us a regular Doomsday. I'm sure they can repaint this one into a regular Doomsday pretty easily. I'm sure that's probably going to come. It's the toy industry, the toy business. Got to save some money somewhere. I could see a Doomsday repaint in our future, and hopefully that's true. So there you have it, Devastator, Earth-1, Batman, from somebody that knows nothing about the Batman uh, universe that this is tied to, but this is just a simple look at the figure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like the video, subscribe to the channel where we talk a lot more Marvel, but as you can see, we might delve into some DC every once and again. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. And uh, until next time, this is Devastator, Earth-1, uh, Batman. I'm Kyle. Oh yeah, I can't forget Warpath. We'll see you guys all real soon.